All right, so all I have is a gutter, some specialty stuff in here, and it's going right to my chicken feeders. What do you think's gonna happen when I put the water in here and it runs out? I'm just gonna show you how many parts per million are in this water before I put it in the chicken feeder. 0 0.85. All right, let's see what it does when I dump it in here. So I've pushed this little valve and filled it up with water from the pipe. Zero two two. You wanna know how I did that? So I had everyone tore up about this system here. They were saying everything from the chickens were gonna be drinking poop from the birds that land up here, debris, all kinds of stuff. And I'm sure if you just put a gutter here and a pipe, uh, you'd probably have that. But this system is very sophisticated and you're gonna wanna see this. Um, it's not only simple, but it's uh, cost effective and it's literally nearly zero maintenance in the long scale and you will almost never have to come and put water in it unless you're just in somewhere that never has rain but even if you do this will be a system that may help you some so you want to watch this all right so this is project filtration on this water feeder for the chickens as you guys were talking about in the coop a lot of you said um that the water would get stagnant um that the mosquitoes would larvae in it etc so I want to show you guys how I keep from all that happening and what I did to make the water pure and so it wouldn't get stagnant. One of the things is you put this in the gutter. This actually is a leaf guard and a type of filtration for your gutter. This normally goes in like this. So when the water comes down, it lands here and then it comes through this and it it can't all the debris can't go through so we're going to put that in and then i've also got um i'll show you guys i took all this apart so i could show you but if you look over here so i've got this gutter it runs all the way down the side of the coop and then it's going to go into this pipe and i'm going to show you how it works and so I've taken it all apart and I'm going to show you in here. Now this has this leaf guard. I slid all this back and then up inside of here has that um, foam type stuff. So when it runs off the roof, if there's bird poop, debris, whatever, it's going to slide off and hit here and it's going to hit this. You can see this leaf guard in here catches all the leaves and everything on top the main part sticks leaves whatever and then below that is this mesh looking grid stuff so that's one part of the filtration and you can see this right here it's gonna catch a whole lot of that stuff and then i'm gonna show you the next trick i think you're gonna be pretty amazed with it all right so the next step is the actual filter that's going to go in here now if you guys know what this company is and you've seen tests that they've done when water comes through this and it comes out the other side it is completely zeroed out as far as particles per million in the stuff and we'll test that with the particles per million thing at the end of the chicken feeder just to see how much is bypassing now you can't just throw this Here's pipe, here's normal pipe. This will just fall through this. As you can see, this will just fall directly through and it will not work. So, a little ingenuity, um, I guess most of us country folks have. And from the comments, you other guys are really on the struggle bus. But anyway, here we go. So, this is a sink strainer and a nut kit now yes this took me a minute to figure out but i'm going to save you guys all the trouble and give you all the details so 
this will fit directly onto this. Then those two will pinch between this and this, creating a watertight seal when it compresses that filter. Then all the water that's coming from the gutter has to run through that filter and it's a completely closed loop system where my coop is. So they're getting 100% pure water. It does not matter what comes off of my roof. I'm gonna show you guys so that. Here is the sink ring and rubber washer. Do not use the paper one, that will disintegrate. Here's these two inside of this PVC thing. Now I'm gonna get it to seat down in there. Look at that, oh man, that's cool. Then I'm gonna take this and compress them both together. And then I'll pull this top off. This will go directly onto my pipe. And then as this fills up, the water that comes out the bottom will be net zero. Here's the fun part. Let's see if it holds water. Oh, look at there. Perfectly clean water. So here's what it looks like, just for picture. I've got this part off so you can see that in there. And it's out there. So you've got regular gutter, comes off the rooftop, hits this, which will catch most of the big debris. And then you can just hand swipe that out. But you can see some of the stuff sitting in there. But that's gonna filter so much of it already. And then you've got this, which is what I showed you. Good? All right, so this is the filter I made. As you can see, this screws apart. So if you ever wanna change it, you just de-thread this. So from here on, see how that fits on there? Now, this won't come apart. And I know a lot of you said that your water was stagnant. So you can see the water dripping out of there. Look in there. See it dripping down in there? That's not dirt. This is where I sealed all the pipe. That ring is where I sealed the pipe. Now this, you can see in here, what's going to happen is you can see that water dripping down in there. See it? So this will fill up, and as it fills up, the pressure from it will push through and make filtered water. Now you don't want to have this to where you can't get it out. So make sure that you do not make this and this, um, or the top piece, this, to where you can't unscrew it. So from here up, mine will not be it'll be sealed to this pipe onto another pipe and i'll get that and show you real quick so here's my other pipe this will be sealed to that you can seal these two to it and then you can just take this out de-thread it here and the reason that you don't want all this sealed is so you can get that out and then also this here you don't want your system so big that it's got water sitting in it forever so this will hold roughly um, three to four gallon from right here all the way down. If it gets too much pressure, the reason I put this on the cap and the way that I've got it made, if it fills up past the filter, it'll push this cap off and then it'll let it flow out. We come down here every day so we know if the cap's off, it's rained too much and it's just pushed the water out. Now the reason you want that is because if you make this too big, our chickens go through about two to five gallon every um, four to five days. So water isn't gonna go stagnant four to five days in between there. And then weekly, we put a little bit of vinegar through the whole thing so it kind of kills parasites or anything like that. Now, like I said, the water that's going into here down to this is gonna be 100% net zeroed out because this filter's in here. And then not only are you keeping all the debris out of there because of your spout, but it's just a really good thought out system. You don't want to have water. You wouldn't want to make this to where your pipe held 10 or 15 gallon because the chickens wouldn't drink it out of there and cycle it as it went through. So you want it to where 
it's just big enough to where your chickens are taking all the water and it's like it's flowing in they're drinking it flowing in drinking it but when it's cleaned out through here it's fine so that should help you guys out